works from the principle that if you think of the castrato as somebody who was effectively endowed with a boy's larynx, but with a fully fledged male vocal tract, the question is, can we recreate that synthetically? is extraordinary. What do you think, Michael? I think the most successful portion of it is the very beginning. That was the most interesting to me on the extended note. It's, it's a very strange and rather spooky sound. It's a bit difficult to accompany because there's not a human element to it in that you cannot hear the, the breath. Spooky is the word. I think spooky is a very good word because it is something other. And that is an essential thing that we knew I think we really did know we were after that. I mean, one of the things that I think is important is that we get away from a soprano sound. I don't think we're mm -hmm. listening to a soprano, and neither do I think we're listening to a cathedral chorister. Nor a countertenor. Nor a countertenor. There's no falsetto. So, so we have moved into a different domain. Oh, yes. Um, so at least we've achieved that part of it, but I'm not sure we've arrived. Perhaps it's fitting that this telling but ghostly reconstruction is as close as we can come to this dead voice from a lost age. But what we are left with is the music that these singers made and the human voices that can still sing it. Sounds of enduring and ravishing beauty. <laughs> 